you know, if you live in South Africa, buying a car is becoming quite an extreme sport. I mean, from crime, theft, look at all of these to pricing, the interest rate they give, uh, that you get from the banks. I mean, like, is it really worth it, South Africans? So, guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we're checking out the most uh, and least uh, stolen or hijacked cars in South Africa. So, we're gonna start out with uh, the most hijacked, and then we're also gonna give you what the tips, guys. So, I won't just uh, let, leave you uh, hanging there. So, you get the tips what to do, maybe if you are, if you are being hijacked and uh, stuff like that and which cars are more safe that you can buy rather than buying these ones which are being uh, more hijacked and uh, without even wasting time let's get to it So the first car on our list guys, the top or the most stolen or hijacked cars in South Africa, it is the VW Polo. So it doesn't even matter as to whether it's the GTI or whatsoever, as long as it's a hatchback, Polo and the sedan, uh, it is leading the charts of uh, most hijacked cars. I mean like look at all this, the beauty, the tech and everything. Um, yeah, even uh, um, the thief man, they want to enjoy all this right quality which comes in at quite a bit high pricey. So rather than paying 400,000 of such a car, they want to get it for 10,000 or 30 guys. Sometimes they even sell what? All these IQ lights. So if you're driving a Polo, please guys, just be uh, safe when you're driving. Make sure that no one is following you around. If so, please move around maybe to the police station just to be safe. To save your badge, the headlights and everything i mean like enjoying uh, this sunroof in south africa it comes at quite a bit extreme price So secondly guys, we have the most uh, or the Mzanzi's top selling buggy, which is the Toyota Hilux. And now the theft risk of this car is about 7% or 6.8. So buying such a car in South Africa is really uh, uh, taking a gamble nowadays. So mostly what they do is uh, the thieves, they buy these cars, they sell them in Central Africa. Sometimes they do change them for the parts like, you know, in Toyota, these cars, it also fit the same engine with the uh, Quantums and all other uh, the Toyota uh, its siblings so yeah it's the second car on our list but look at all this beauty I mean like uh, yeah guys instead of uh, you enjoying your success and whatsoever the thieves they want to take that away from you so be safe guys please be safe GT6 on or the Hilux uh, drivers So you know guys, uh, this pickup is actually made for off-roading. So I'm as if maybe I would told you they also want to do this, the donuts and off-road. But yeah, we don't understand in uh, Central Africa because they use mostly uh, the gravel roads. And yeah, without even wasting time, guys, nice. let's go to our third car. So for this one, you need to be uh, maybe an engineer or someone who really makes a lot of cash in South Africa to be able to afford it because it comes at a million rand. Yes, a million rand for a buggy. I mean, just wait and see. Tara, 
is the ranger guys so the ford ranger or the ford ranger uh, they're also uh, becoming really really are uh, the target for the thieves so they are the third most hijacked car in south africa so if you are buying a ford ranger or a raptor you better make sure that you put maybe a tracker or something just to be safe and save your car from uh, these uh, stupid thieves man unleash the beast <laughs> i mean guys just take a moment look at this who doesn't want to do this even those stupid idiots who drove that on grade 2 they also want to ride on build tough i mean the ford uh, ranger or the raptor so currently in south africa the best suited will um consumers of these cars i mean are the africaners let's just face it guys if you don't have a gun you are like you are i and you we are not safe in this car but um my word is not the word of god so please if you want to buy it just go ahead but just be safe eh? be safe And now guys again we have a number four another toyota this one is a family suv a toyota fortuna which is coming at uh, the fourth place so by that time imagine you're having your family your dogs and everything and you're being hijacked at a point at a gunpoint so it becomes quite uh, a traumatic experience so if you're driving uh, if you're living in south africa driving on our roads especially maybe if you're living in Gauteng or kz10 this car is not really are the best to buy in those areas otherwise uh, you become a target market for about and yeah guys so about they also want to ride in the suv they want to be uh, about boza they want to have all this experience so yeah there's nothing much i can say but uh, all i can say guys is is uh, make sure that if you're buying this car you are safe and uh, you do take all the, the, the precaution measures to secure and uh, save your family from uh, the thieves. And like I've mentioned before, guys, the main reason was to, as to why these Toyotas are ch topping these uh, chats. It is because they share what? They quite a lot of uh, parts, the engine and everything. So hence why a lot of uh, Toyota, they get being hijacked here in uh, South Africa. And then we have a number five, the Toyota ATOZ 4.6, uh, risk of being uh, hijacked or theft. And uh, so this one, I, I, I mean, like not a lot of South Africans are expecting to see this car on this list, but it is here, guys. Uh, I would told you they are stealing the lights, uh, the rims, and they are also using these cars to practice their, I um, mean, to do their business, such as the Uber and bolting. So yeah, hence why this car is also being hijacked quite a lot in South Africa to play part in bolting and the Uber business. And to be safe, guys, for those who are taking Bolt and Uber with the Etiosis, make sure that the plate number on your uh, app it is the same as the car that is picking you up, please. Yeah, <laughs> mind. How many of you guys know this advert? I mean, this advert is used to air on our TVs about 12 years ago. So yeah, my 2000s or elders, if you know like share and subscribe also drop a comment down below so guys we have uh the np200 which is also being uh stolen at number six and but mostly i think maybe uh, they are using this card to do uh the deliveries in sunnyside they're transporting the base and whatsoever so yeah guys and without even wasting time now let's move to the safest cars in south africa of the least stolen cars in our roads firstly we have uh, a volvo so any volvo if you're driving a volvo you are likely to be safe because i mean like uh this is more of a luxury car and rather than being sporting everything else the elegance and yeah not it's you no know, one of those cars which are not really in uh, in demand if you can afford it please buy it and be safe with your family 
So secondly guys, the most safe cars in South Africa it is the Jaguar. So if you're driving a Jaguar, you are likely to be more uh, safe. And yeah, I mean like it is better to maybe buy such cars. The problem with Jaguar is that they are a bit expensive. I understand why most of the South Africans can afford this, but those who can, please um, just save yourself some trouble by a Jaguar, the F-Type or whatsoever. And uh, yeah, just uh, enjoy your quality at the most of the safest it can be. Thirdly, we have the Land Rover uh, Defenders. So this is a two million rand car, and uh, yeah, man. Even if about to do they steal this one. Not really. A lot of people can afford to maintain this car for a long period of time. So hence why it is uh, not on the target list of being uh, stolen or hijacked. And yeah, if you have the money for it, go for this one. Eh? You'll be safe here with your family and plus an off-roader and an SUV at the same time. And now at the fourth place, guys, we now have BMW X3. So uh, the BMW X3 is an SUV. It is uh, not likely to be hijacked or stolen in South Africa. So you can leave it in the parking lot, anywhere, even at home. So you'll be quite a bit safe uh, if you're riding in this uh, car. So yeah, please do take note, guys, of cars that you can buy and sell cars that you need to stay away from so a german i know a lot of south africans they love german machines so if you want to buy a german machine and be safe buy this one And on fifth place, we have the Nissan Leaf. Uh, this one is a more of a hybrid car because it's a plug-in hybrid as well as a, a little engine in front. So, but in South Africa, no one will really steal this car. I mean, you want to steal this car while we have load shedding, you'll be dumb. <laughs> so, hence why uh, it's, you'll, be, you'll be safe if uh, you're riding this car, the same as in Defender. So, the, all these two cars, they are plug-in hybrid. So they can run on petrol as well as uh, the electric so yeah if you wanna be riding in peace and safe please also take note of the nissan leaf and at the last place we have the, uh, the tesla guys uh, so the Tesla, I mean, it is the same as a leaf. Only stupid people can steal this in South Africa. The load shedding and everything, you'll get stuck without electricity. You won't charge. So, yeah. But for those who have in the mind for the Tesla, please buy a Tesla, guys. You buy a Tesla. You know that even if a bottle is they steal this one, you'll be able to get them fast during uh, load shedding. Mm -hmm. 